Hey guys, how we all doing? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great day. This is the part two of the making a navigation. And I hope you watch part one because that's quite dependent on this video. So in part one, we made this not fancy, but quite basic. We made this the basic navigation. We want to have this now. Want to make and this is called drop downs. So these are called drop downs. And so for that, I want to kind of keep them in their own different files. So let's name this navigation bar basic with drop. Don't worry, there's no maximum amount of text you can have for your file names with drop downs. That's HTML. And for that, we'll copy and paste our content from the previous work. And let's run this in our browser and see the results. Mm. In browser. Okay, yeah, this is the results. And it's Pretty much the same thing because we haven't changed anything in the code, right? So, just to be sure, it's good, you know, when copying a new file, adding a new file, whatever you do, just test it to be sure that you know things are the way they should be. So, after that, what's next? Let me see how to break this. Okay, so let's deal with the HTML portion first. Let me say you want to drop down in your blog. What you do is this first of all. Because of formatting, you have to, because this is not going to take in elements and it's not just an element of its own. It's good to format it appropriately. So we're going to now add another URL tag here and give that URL tag its own ally. So let's say your blogs, you have YouTube, a link to your YouTube blogs. And also, yeah, the part one, I wanted it to be below 10 minutes, but apparently that was not possible because of the amount of things we're going to be covering and i'll try to keep this one short <laughs> but i mean there's just so much and this is so basic but there's so much you know i just want to have like i just want you guys to have a good foundation so that when we go to like more advanced things you'll be like okay what's this what's this what's this that's why we're talking about it now you know so that we all should be quite solid and this is like basic knowledge in html this is like we this is this is when you're doing react you shouldn't get bothered by html html is the sub work the react component and making your react components work at that's the main work so html is just 10 percent of the knowledge you should know let me not say 10 25 the main work is 75 so this is just a foundational knowledge that's why I'm trying to spend as much time as possible and not to skip anything. I know I'm still going to skip some things. I'm not perfect, you know, but I'm trying to get us to have a basic and a solid foundation, you know. So, yeah. So, let me see YouTube. Now, I'm going to start making things up. Bear with me. And your content does not have to be exactly like mine. And, yeah, if you want to know what I just did, I just did Control b to remove the sidebar. Um, YouTube, sporting, this sporting net, I'm big on basketball, so, NBA, playoffs, um, who's your best player in basketball, or in sports, Cristiano Ronaldo, MJ, mine is Kyrie. I'm a Boston fan. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. And let me see what else can we add a drop down to? Okay, we'll add something later. Let's just leave it as this. So let's see, what do we have now? Refresh this. Yikes. Very ugly. Don't worry, it's meant to be. <laughs> so now let's start styling and making our page look kind of beautiful. First things first is that I want to style this this year tag as you can see because there's no styling it's just whatever this is so 
the narrow mode i told you about nesting let me add a comment here i don't want to buy anything <laughs> uh thank you oh my god wow <laughs> um styling the drop down drip <laughs> the drip downs the drop downs so we want to get to you all this year so remember we talked about the arrow tag the arrow symbol so nav after nav we have a your tag after the girl tag, we have allies. And after the ally, we have another girl tag. And now we can style because we're referring to this. So the basic styling we're going to need is basically. Okay, let me not be lazy. I know it, but I'll just type it for the sake of people watching this so that you know we can talk and you can learn from this. And use, uh, this is why you like. Or you should like Visual Studio Code. It actually shows you the mapping, what you're actually reflecting to or trying to edit, you know. Hover over this. How did I get that to work? Ah. Uh, I think I just hover the right here. Yeah. Actually shows you the nesting of the actual elements that you're working with. So yeah, let's move on. So first thing. We want our margin to be zero so there are some default things and that comes with some elements that we don't want after that we want to give it a background color don't worry it's going to look beautiful at the end you see we get to somewhere here yeah? uh so we want to give it a border radius i'll show you what a border radius is border Let's give this three pixels. I want to do the same thing for the right also. Right, three pixels also. So now let me show you what that is. You can see how boxed these edges are. It's so sharp. I don't like that. See now it's curved. That's just what we did with the border radius. So after that, now I want to remove these bullet points. And remember, we talked about that. That's what this is for. List style type none. Refle refresh. It's not here. And what else? Yeah, I want to make the colors. I want to change the color. So nav the UL. I'm writing this with some people watching this. <laughs> LI then UL. Then LI. Want to change the colors of the um text so color and hash zero 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 apparently six zeros is black so you can see now as compared to before where the colors were changing now it's only the heading color for this one that changes while this ones are consistent and after that i want to just be sure that it's most immediate text align center <coughs> excuse me now it looks better now i want to just make it not to show i want to make it disappear uh, you do that by saying display there are different ways of doing this display none display none means it should not be there and it should not take any space i think display hidden uh forgotten or visibility hidden is to um make it not to show but it actually takes up space but in this case, we don't want to take up any space. So when we refresh it, it doesn't show. So now what we want to do is that we want to make it the case that when you hover over, hover over, <laughs> when you hover on, that's a dry joke. That's a dry joke. But it was funny to me. I don't, you see, I feel like programming, yeah? There's a time in your life where dry jokes become funny. When you're a programmer, I'm not. I, I don't want to scare anyone, but like, 
I shouldn't have laughed to hover over in this life. But I just laughed to hover over. Like, it's okay, let me keep on going. Yeah, so <laughs> I want to make it the case that when I hover over a blog, that's when that shows. So, how do we do that? Let's say nav ul li. Let's have the hover effect when you hover over this. Then the ul should show display. Look, you see, nice, yeah. Hover over this, nothing. Hover over this, you have that now. We want to make this hoverable so when you hover over YouTube, the color should change. And let's space that for some reason. I just feel like it's too cramped. See, height. Five pixels. I guess I'm guessing that's too much, but huh, I don't think that worked. But it is. See, 30 pixels. Okay, I think it, yes, it did work. It did work. I can see the space. And let's just give it a margin top of two pixels because five pixels. Yeah, just to space it a bit more, you know. And now let's make it hoverable. Nav U L L I. U L L I and guys this is just pretty a lot this is a lot because we don't want to use javascript javascript makes it so easier like just detect what's going on in the event and like um with an event or whatever and change the style with javascript we were trying to use css to because we haven't learned javascript you know i should probably make a video doing this with javascript when we learn javascript yeah i should so when you hover on that we want the color to change and the transition to be 0 0.3 seconds. I remember transition just makes it slower. So now see, yes. This is how to make a navigation bar without JavaScript. And you can actually make it like intense. So I added another drop down. Let's say over over this, you have another drop down here. Over over another drop down here, you can do all that if you want to. And if you want me to make a video on that, just comment down below. I don't mind doing that. Let's say we have another one here now. On Instagram. I'm going to change the content of the allies. I'm going to change this to my followers. Let's make the next one tags. Tags. Let's see what this looks like. So Instagram, you have all of this. Nice, yeah. Videos has nothing. Blog, you have your whatever here. And guys, so we're done. Um, probably in the next video, I'll just add um anchor tags to them to actually make them navigate to somewhere and probably style it better but this is how you make a basic but a little bit advanced navigation bar like you, you, you can see this in actual websites you know that's why i said basic because it needs any javascript it needs any library or anything because we didn't actually need to you know it's not just using them it's using them if you need to you know we didn't use those but we achieve what one has achieved and yeah so thanks for watching and that video is coming up so please watch that you actually need to watch that to actually know how to you know link everything up and make them go to this page go to the next page go to any page you want to go to and i might start it a little bit more to just make it look nicer you know thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate it watching the next video and have a great day Come on,